This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video and this time I'm gonna be playing with the Dragoonie deck again or at least trying to um, it just ultimately depends on how well things go um, but so this actually works out pretty well because of the way this hand is structured because of Divine Lance uh, Divine Lance basically just replaces Foolish Burial in like all of the instances because it's just better to draw as a random like one-off card <clears throat> but I've got Garuda I've got Baby Rock which means I'm gonna be able to go into Vajrayana here and then do some combos. And so I've got an Ash Blossom, which I can use as a backup. But in the meantime, I'm going to just be uh, going to be just doing uh, some interesting uh, things. Now, I've got the Garuda, which means I can do my uh, I can do my weird combo uh, that lets me go into Dweller and all my shit. But I don't think I want to <laughs> per se. Uh, I think I'd rather just like try and make as many Cipher Mortal Omegas as possible <laughs> because that seems like it'd be the better of the uh, of the outcomes. But so, uh, we'll just do the normal stuff and see where it goes from there. I'm just gonna, I might just wing this one. But anyway, so, like, the stars have aligned for me for this game. I have gotten the ability to go first. I have not been dealing with any hand traps, currently. And, luckily for me, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro hasn't crashed, because I've been trying to play on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro a lot. Um, I've been trying to play, like, this game, like, three different times, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro keeps crashing as soon as I get to the Rock, Paper, Scissors phase. And it's, uh, not good. But so uh, we'll use this to add Garuda and discard the Baby Rock. The Baby Rock will be able to summon itself. And yeah, I can make Dweller, I can do my stuff there. So I don't know what I'm playing against. That's the big deal of why I just don't like to do the Dweller thing that actively. Uh, but Dweller is the only rank 4 in my extra deck. So, uh, um, I don't have any settables either. So like, there's no reason for me to go for Zulkin. Because if I go for Zulkin, I'd be trying to bank on drawing a card off of uh, off of the uh, nonsense there. But so I could make Omega here, take a card out of his hand, gain some information, and then uh, do some stuff. So there is that as a possibility, because I did open the Baby Rock, so it allows me to do that. Uh, but so I'll do the Omega, I'll uh, take a card out of his hand, Rhoda. That doesn't give me that much information. <laughs> Fuck. Um, but, so what I'll do here is that I will just banish this to special summon the Darkness Metal, use Darkness Metal to bring back the Gaederg, uh, and use Gaederg here to add and discard another Baby Rock, and then I'll be able to make another Omega, which I'll use, uh, which i because this will be invalidating a card, so I'm technically taking away three resources, uh, because of the fact that I have Ghost Ash. Uh, so we're just gonna do that. I'm just gonna play the Omega game. <laughs> That's how this is gonna work, right? Um, is I'm just gonna do the Omega shit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna summon this Omega. I'm gonna wait to use its effect because I'm gonna put back his Rota so that he doesn't get the cards back. So I'm just constantly looping cards out of his uh, out of his resource pool. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do because there's no reason for me to just do it now. Uh, I wish that I had like Queen Dragon Jin in my extra deck. Um, I have no idea what he's playing, but I mean, Rhoda, he could be like trying to go for Armageddon Knight for Malicious. I don't really know. I'm just gonna shotgun a Dweller. I have no idea what he's playing against. Um, so like, we'll just, we'll, we'll go with this. So I'm gonna put this banished Rhoda back so that my Omega will come back next turn, but then his Rhoda will not come back to his hand. Terraforming. Um... Okay, the terraforming is fine when he adds. He's adding Union Hanger. Okay, so Rota was for Photon Thrasher. Okay, well then this Dweller is actually somewhat useful. I hit a Soul Charge. Holy shit. Um, but when he puts his Union Hanger down, I'm going to be able to activate this, and it'll negate it so he won't be able to add. <laughs> That's pretty neat, right? Um, so he's setting a monster, setting a card, and passing. Okay, we got him. Boys, we got him. Boy, howdy. Alright, so we'll Resolve Effect uh, for this Omega, and then we'll Resolve Effect for this Omega. So he gets his Soul Charge back. Uh, but So now I need room, so I'm going to... Well, let's see, I don't play three Baby Rocks in this list, so... <laughs> problem, problem arises. 
Uh, but so what we'll do is we'll activate this uh, to try and take a card out of his hand again. If he gets Solemn Strike, then I'll put a Baby Rock back into my deck. Uh, so that's the that's the um, the uh, Soul Charge again. Uh, I'm gonna activate this. I'm just gonna try and loop him out of the game with Omegas, uh, taking a card every turn and then uh, and then keeping a card <laughs> for myself. Uh, that's 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 the way that this is gonna go. It's it sucks that this is like the kooky shit that you have to deal with <laughs> in order to make this deck somewhat playable. Uh, but so I'm gonna add and discard the Actles, and I'm going to turn this to. Def I'm gonna turn. I kind of want to turn both of these into defense mode. I kind of want to take the other card out of his hand as well, straight away, uh, just to make sure that I'm not dealing with anything dumb. Um, I might, I might, might, might. You don't understand how much I want to. Uh, this could be like a mirror force or something, which I don't want to deal with. Uh, but if it is a mirror force, we'll just turn these to defense mode. We'll, we'll play around the aspect of this could be mirror force. I'm going to activate this because this could be like C or B or A. Um, if it's A, I don't care, but if it's B, I do really care. Um, oh, it's a gadget as well, so I mean that works too. <laughs> we've we've invalidated the gadget. Alright, so now I've got Solemn Strike uh, in my repertoire of things that I have access to. And so now I get to... Uh, no, we're not going to do anything here. I'm going to use the Omega to put his Soul Charge back so that my two Omegas come back next turn. Uh, and then I'll be able to do things there. Uh, so, the thing is, is that if he summons, like, a gadget, and summons, like, A, B, or C from his hand or whatever, if he just drew one, uh, then that's gonna be, like, not really that great, uh, for him, because I'll just be able to chain Cypher and Lord Omega. Uh, setting card? Yes. We'll take that other card out of your hand, please, sir. Um, oh, it's a Trick Clown. Okay, so he just, he had a really, really good hand. <laughs> oh, my god, he had a good hand. Um, but, uh, but Union Hanger is gonna add, like, A, uh, and then I can Solemn Strike his ABC Dragon Buster, so I'm not really worried about, oh, he's adding B. That way B can die. Aha! I see. Um, so he's setting B. How much defense does B have? Like, 1800? Yeah, 1800. Okay, so I'll be able to resolve both of these effects, and, uh, that will be good there. Uh, but so what I can do is put this into attack mode. Um, I can banish it, bring back a card, make another Omega. <laughs> I'm just looping Omegas. That's that's how this game like has to work now. Um, that's the unfortunate thing about like this about this deck is that like it functions the best when you're just doing the most mundane shit. And by mundane shit, I mean I'm literally just looping Omega. <laughs> that's all I'm doing. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm going to loop Omegas. But that is the most uh, reasonable thing that you can apparently do in this game. Uh, so that's that. Uh, I'm going to turn this one to defense mode. Because, again, I don't want to die to, like, mirror forces or some shit. Uh, I'm okay with just playing the slow game with him. Uh, to the point of, I don't know what this card is. But it's kind of annoying me that I don't know what it is. But he's going to add a card to his hand. I'm just going to Omega it out of his hand next turn anyway. So, like... Uh, and we're not going to put it back. <laughs> we're not going to put it into his graveyard for him. Nah. Nah, man. We're not doing that. Now, what is this card? I have no idea what it is. I would love to know what it is. Um, but so we're going to activate this Omega to take that A out of his hand. He will not get it until his uh, until his next turn. I've got Instant Fusion, which means the next turn I can make Vajrayana. Uh, I've been playing this entire game without Dragon Ravine, despite the fact that I have eight of them in my deck. Um, like, shit. <laughs> that's, that's kind of a problem. Uh, but, so what I'm going to put back here is I'm going to put the, let's see, this card is sent to the graveyard, but it will be returned to the graveyard. It will not be sent, so it will not get its effect. Um, so now he just doesn't get that back next turn. I'm going to let that A keep floating back and forth, um, because, like, I mean, why not, right? Uh, but so I will resolve both of my effects for the Omegas to come back. I've got Divine Lance, Instant Fusion. Um, I can take... Uh, one of these Omegas, and uh, I'll turn it to attack mode, and I'll just activate it, I'll just banish the A out of his hand again. Uh, and then, depending on what's going on with this monster, uh, we should just have game, right? That's the that's the theory. Uh, to attack, activate... I'm just going to stop playing around Mirror Force now, because of the fact that I've got Strike plus an Omega that's floating. Um, it just seems, it seems silly to be playing around it at this point. If I hadn't put Ackley's in Grave... I could have added, I could have put Ackley's on the Vajrayana that I could have summoned back and then sent it and popped this card. Uh, but unfortunately, 
that's not how this is going. Uh, we're just going to put this on it to make it big. It's unaffected by traps, so that seems pretty legitimate uh, by itself. Uh, if these go to grave, so like if this is like a mirror force card or something like that, then uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste this strike. I'm just gonna let him run through his gadgets because at this point it just makes me stronger um, for him to be out of gadgets uh, because of the fact that like this gadget dies, it's gonna float into a silver, right? And I've only attacked with these two, so I can attack with Omega, uh, and then these two can still connect directly. Uh, for uh, for damage for enough damage for game so there's no point in wasting the strike in case this is something real uh, but yeah like that's the most mundane shit I'm literally just using Dragoonies as Omega Turbo and it's not even Omega Turbo I summoned two turn one and then I summoned one the next turn or not not, not even one the next turn I could have summoned one the next turn ah it's anti spell <laughs> okay so now I know what it is at least so yeah this was literally nothing okay Cool. Um, I'm surprised he didn't... Oh, no, he couldn't have activated this because he needed to, like, try and draw into other terraformings or union hangers or stuff to get his stuff uh, to work. But, yeah, like, that's... This is the entire the entire thing that this deck does um, now that kind of irritates me is that it's just Omega Turbo. That's all it is. You summon as many Omegas as possible uh, and you just try. You just try to get your opponent low on resources uh, to the point where you just control them throughout the rest of the game. Like, that's the, that's the big issue that I have with this deck in terms of it trying to be successful is that your best card in your extra deck is, like, Cypher and Lord Omega. <laughs> but, hey, I mean, it works some of the time. Um, but, I mean, hey, I, I, I still stand by the fact that you don't see me playing this deck at tournaments for a reason. Uh, it's because of the fact that this deck is incredibly fragile. And, like, if you're just trying to summon Omega, you have better decks to do that with. Like, I could be playing zombies, I could be putting back Mizukis every turn, and that was just that would just be so much better than everything that I've just done in terms of, like, summoning an Omega every turn. I mean, like, Darkness Metal is pretty cool to be stuck on the board, because that's essentially, like, a Mizuki by itself, but it summons better quality cards, in theory. Uh, but, like, still, there's just those things that are issues with the deck that I have um, that, uh, that cause problems. But anyway... As always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on this video or are in the comments down below and all that sort of nonsense. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly and help me have some future projects come into fruition a bit sooner than they would have normally, then definitely check out the Patreon page that is linked in the description if you want to support the channel. Again, like I said, that is the best way to do so. As well as if you want to get access into some reward perks like my private Discord server where me and 15 other people currently just sit and talk, like we shoot the shit on a 24-7 basis, talk about decks, talk about the game, and then whenever I want to play games for videos, I literally go only exclusively to that discord chat to find people to play with for video purposes So if you want to play me for videos, then that's something you want to you know go look at you know But otherwise anything any small amount is a great great help to show support towards something that you enjoy To allow me to make content into the future without any major issues But other than that if you like this video give it a like give it a thumbs up smash that like button all that sort of nonsense to show your support for the videos that I'm making and that you like them other than that if you're new here Thanks for watching and maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content. I'd love to welcome you into the community that is built around this channel that enables all the crazy and kooky shit that I do here to be possible, which I didn't think would have been possible if you told me a couple years back that I could have been doing this as an actual profession. <laughs> like, like, damn. But anyway, as always, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.